Hey, how's it going? In this video I'm going to show you how I use this 3D scan to model this prototype 3D printed swim fin. It's a fast video. Um, the modeling took about three hours and uh, in this video, the video is only five minutes so it goes pretty quick and at the end you get to see uh, a prototype that I 3D milled and then also there's some images of the TPU 3D printed prototype. If there are any specific commands that you want to know or you want to know how I did something, leave a comment and I'll explain it to you. And um, I'm also working on a 3D scanning course, which I'm hoping will be available in the next two to three months. Uh, but in the meantime, happy to help you out if you need any advice. And uh, yeah, if you don't mind, please like the video. That will help me get... Uh, more views which will mean I can keep making content thank you let's get into it okay so starting from the top with a blank Rhino file first of all you import the mesh and then there's a bit of a job aligning the mesh to get it kind of flat and level once that's done I traced around the main areas that I wanted to be different surfaces used a different layer for that then I trim up the mesh Use, using mesh split and start taking different contours from the mesh lofting between the contours just kind of playing with it trying different methods different uh, different curves out of the sections then I use blends between the lofts to create the more complex sections blend curve blend surface it's kind of a process of building and rebuilding to get the right shapes always checking back against the mesh that's really important although this this particular job was a, a different design but i needed to kind of get the base geometry off this off of this 3d scan so it's just constantly constantly blending surfaces lofting blending curves sweeping the curves a lot of checking a lot of tweaking bit by bit Obviously, I, I normally rebuild the curves. Um, I section them off the mesh and then I rebuild them and I split them at particular points where I kind of know it's going to generate nice surfaces. Then I loft them. Once they're lofted, I, I, do, I loft the main flat sections and then I do blend surfaces between them. That's kind of my workflow and then I just keep tweaking it. Often I'll rebuild a surface maybe three or four times Sometimes you need like a bit of a surface to be able to get a blend and then you'll delete the surface <laughs> that you used and, and re-blend it. So that's just kind of what I'm doing here, just constantly going over it. Working on both sides at the moment, but around now I think I, I picked the left side, it's always the left side for me, and I started refining it even more. And knowing that I wasn't too worried about the right hand side, knowing that I would mirror it, because these are symmetrical parts so just just working working the details bit of point editing every now and then jumping into render view to to check the geometry just continuing to blend blend surfaces and patch using a lot of sweeps uh, edge continuity okay the client had a particular type of design that they wanted so once I built out the base geometry I started changing changing things to suit their design uh, at some point earlier i generated a free view drawing and we'd done a review and they'd marked up the drawing and that's what i'm working off as well as a reference shape that they like so yeah just continuing to build surfaces and, and blend surfaces use intersect a lot i'll intersect one surface with another and then trim that checking the surface finish using render and environment map more sweeping and blending it can take quite a lot of practice and quite a few attempts but you just keep going with it just keep persisting and eventually you'll get there it looks like I was happy enough so I was starting to cap it out now kind of like closing it out a bit to make it a solid model then I mirrored it and worked that centerline 
and I rebuilt some of the surfaces off the center line, having a look at it in rendered view. Then uh, to get further client approval and review, I wanted to mill it out of foam. So I set it up and I used Rhino Cam to generate some toolpaths. So this is it actually being milled out and it's great sometimes to have a physical prototype. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, the clients reviewed the milled foam and then we went to printing. So we printed a TPU, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> a TPU 3D print with a PLA support structure and the client has that now and they're just testing it. So yeah, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed that. As I said at the start, if you have any specific questions, let me know and I'll answer them. And keep an eye out for my upcoming course on reverse engineering. Cheers.